So let's talk a little bit about lean manufacturing and the concepts involved in lean. Right? And so this first section is just going to be a general introduction to lean. You're familiar with these principles from the videos you've watched and the presentations you've seen in class, but this just gives you one more chance to go over the information. All right? What is lean? Uh, you've been asked this question before. Uh, it's doing more work with fewer resources. It's doing more with less. All right? Lean's a modification of mass production. It's mass production in less time, in a smaller space, with fewer workers and less equipment. Okay, and it's based on TPS, the Toyota production system. The term lean production was coined by researchers at MIT in the 80s sometime. Um, but it is based on the Toyota production system that arose from Japan. All right, so Here's a graphic that might help you remember what lean is, okay? The foundation of lean is the elimination of waste. Um, and it's built on these two pillars, just-in-time production and autonomation, okay? Now that's not automation, that's automation with a human factor. And central to those pillars is work involvement. They have to be involved in all the aspects of that, right? Then those two pillars support the roof, customer focus, okay? Because the whole point of lean is customer satisfaction. All right, so let's look at, uh, make a comparison in mass production versus lean production. In mass production, you have inventory buffers. Um, and you have that because there's going to be waste. There's going to be defects. In lean production, you have minimum waste, so there are no inventory buffers. Mass production, you have just-in-case deliveries. In lean, you have just-in-time. That part's going to arrive right at the time you need it. You have just-in-case inventory in case there's some horrible accident. In mass production. In lean, you keep a minimum of inventory on hand. Mass production um, focuses on some acceptable quality level. Lean focuses on perfect first time quality. All right? In mass production, we have what's called Taylorism. The workers are told what to do. In lean, you have worker led teams. All right? uh, mass production is all about maximum efficiency. Lean focuses on getting the worker involved. You don't just make more because you can. Mass production is inflexible. The systems are inflexible, the production systems are. In lean, they are flexible. They can be changed out, modified, adjusted. Mass production thrives on the mentality of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay, kind of thing. However, lean looks at something that's working and says, how can it work better? Continuous improvement, okay? All right, just in time. Materials and parts arrive just in time, just in the nick of time, all right, as they are needed in the manufacturing process, all right? We're going to have two elements there, high quality and low whip. Whip is work in process, all right? So what are some of the elements that we'll focus on with just in time? There'll be a pull system of production and it'll use a Kanban. Okay, there'll be setup time reduction for small batch sizes. You'll have production leveling. You'll be having zero defects. You'll work on on-time deliveries. You wanna meet your customer's deadline. And your workers will be flexible. They'll be cross-trained. They'll be multi-purpose. They'll have multiple skills, which by the way means they'll make more money in the end too. They have more usable, marketable skills. So, worker involvement's gonna focus around these principles. Kaizen, that's continuous improvement. Quality circles, visual management systems, really helps you see how things are going. You watched the video last week on visual management. Um, the 5S system, all right? Keeping things ready to use. Standard work procedures. That means if you and I both operate equipment A, we operate it the same way. There's no black magic involved in how something's produced. And then also there'll be total preventative maintenance. 
some people call that total production maintenance involvement for all the workers, right? Everybody's going to be involved in keeping the machine running so there aren't unforeseen breakdowns. Because remember, you're working just in time, so you don't need to have unexpected dead times, all right? Autonomation. It's hard to say that. Um, it's automation with a human touch, with a human spin. We've talked about the kinds of things that people are better for than automation, things where there's high dexterity, um, those kinds of things. We saw that in some of the earlier videos we watched. Um, it's also going to focus on stopping the process when something goes wrong, when a defect is produced. Um, this human touch prevents overproduction. It's an error prevention method. It's mistake proofing, okay? Lots of times with this, you'll have a go, no go template. Rather than you looking at it and having to make a measurement, it will be and make a decision. It is strictly a go, no go, yes or no, a template. And then here again, we have the total preventative maintenance um, for reliable equipment. So lean focuses on eliminating waste and the word used in lean for that is muda. It sounds like mud even to us, okay? And we want to eliminate waste, which is also known as muda. It falls into three categories, actual work, auxiliary work, and waste. All right, so actual work actually adds value to the product. It's something your customer wants, All right? Auxiliary work supports the actual value added activities. Okay, this is things like loading and unloading apart from the line. Waste is anything else, not in one of those activities. It might be something like doing something to a part that the customer has no desire for. You just always made it that way and so you keep making it that way. That's waste. The customer doesn't care about that. Then you shouldn't be doing it. All right. So it's all about adding value to the product. So here are the seven types of waste as they're defined. The first one is production of defective parts, overproduction, excessive inventories, excessive inventories of parts for equipment or to manufacture goods is any kind of excessive inventory, unnecessary processing steps, unnecessary moving of people, unnecessary handling of materials, and workers waiting. Okay, think too about how unnecessary handling of materials could cause you other problems, for instance. Let's just look at that one. When you handle them unnecessarily, it's more likely you're going to damage the part from handling it. Once it's damaged, it's either going to be defective scrap or it's going to need rework, okay? Well, rework is not a value-added material. Uh, activity. It is a wasteful activity. So in a perfect lean system, there'd be no rework. So you can see how some of these begin to fall into other categories. Once you have this one thing, it causes the other, and it goes on and on and on. All right, so I hope that helps you get a little overview and um, that you understand the principles of lean a little better now.